Every couple of months there's been one group that keeps popping up on my radar, in part because I'm a sucker for Neo Soul and Disco, but also because they've released five albums in four years. In fact, one of them was only available for 99 days, like it's, it's gone. So, I mean, you could pirate it, I guess. But they're also somewhat shrouded in mystery. Even with their widespread acclaim among critics, music listeners, and other artists, this British collective continues to hide itself from the public eye. In an era where anonymity doesn't really exist, Salt are an act that are significantly different from a lot of what else is out there. On the fifth day of the fifth month of 2019, Salt released their debut, curiously named Five. Four months later, they'd release Seven on the 27th of September. Both albums present themselves as retro soul records. You have these soulful vocals and tight bass lines at the center of these psychedelic hip hop jazz jam sessions. You have the more dance heavy tracks. Funk and disco inspired cuts. Jazz stylings. R&B and Neo Soul. Calming interludes. And those are just the first five tracks off of their debut. Salt's full lineup remains a bit of an unconfirmed mystery, but we do know who sits at the helm of the project thanks to the label on the back of each record. Dean Josiah Cover otherwise known as Infla. The London-born producer has been called a young Quincy Jones, and has production credits on some incredible records from the last few years, including the entirety of Michael Kiwanuka's gorgeous Kiwanuka, My hero. My hero. and Little Sims Sometimes I Might Be Introvert. Woman to woman, I just wanna see you glow. Tell them what's up. Inflow was also simultaneously producing Cleo Soul's last two records, the British singer-songwriter behind much of the soulful vocals featured on Salt's records. While Chicago rapper Kid Sister fills in on the more hip-hop inspired tracks. Work it out. Think about it. In 2020, Salt would deliver two untitled records with subtitles. The first being Black Is. I will always rise in Released in the wake of George Floyd's murder and the renewed BLM movement, the album came along with a mission statement. The record includes a ton of mantras that reflect the frustrations and anger at the time but balance it out with empowering and hopeful words too. Shortly after, Rise would follow, with more themes of black rage and black pride. And that's not to say that if you're anything but black that you can't connect to these tracks. A lot of the emotions on this album are human emotions, human anger, human pride, emotions we all feel. And the lyrics aren't too deep or preachy, so it never really pulls away from the musical experience. If anything, Salt do something really special with the word and the color black. They characterize it. They almost make it something more than the color of one's skin. When everything else fails, black indoors. Black is shiny and new, and black is older than earth. Black. Their 2020 releases would be more grandiose and cinematic offerings. In my opinion, their best releases thus far. Rise would even end up being nominated for the Mercury Prize, and the group were showing no signs of slowing down, releasing their album Nine in June of 2021. Another excellent addition to their discography that takes a chance at being a little more loose and grittier. But Nine would only be available for 99 days. 
it disappeared back in October. So if you missed it, you missed it. But does like anything really disappear from the internet at this point? I'm guessing they don't make that much off of streaming. So this was just kind of like the chance to sell more records. I think you can buy nine off their website. Don't shoot. Gun sound. So you cannot buy it on their website. Based on their consistent output, we should have seen another album by them, presumably titled 11, by the end of the year. I was really hoping that after those 99 days following 9, we would have got something. But nothing. But I've got a prediction. The band love releasing their numbered albums on dates that coincide with the number on the album. Five had fives in it, seven had sevens in it. The untitled records, they don't really work. And nine wasn't on a nine date. Okay, so hear me out. Albums typically release on a Friday. And if Salt does end up calling their next album 11 and they want to release it on a day that corresponds with that number, the next Friday, the 11th of 2022, happens to be November, the 11th month. Of so I say Salt's album 11, if it's called 11, will release on Friday, November 11th, 2022. And if it doesn't, that's just a missed opportunity. It's not too common for artists to shroud their identities from the public, especially in today's digital social media era where personalities are everything. To me, this is almost like Salt saying that they want to be left alone and have the music speak for itself, that it's all about the music. And that's what makes Salt significantly different. But don't take my word for it. Like, subscribe, and buy me a coffee if you please. Um, and then, of course, at the bottom here, you have that it's by Inflow, produced by Inflow. Ooh, interesting. So we have a bit of a, a spread here, you can see. 